Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Power Owl Smart Battery Charger. Let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. So right here, we have our packaging here. We can open up, you see a, a little card here with their uh, customer service information. And the other side here is their user manual, the most brief user manual I've ever seen. Fantastic. <laughs> and then inside we have eight AA rechargeable batteries here. A charging cable. Unfortunately, it looks like it's micro USB. That's a bummer. But uh, then we have our charging rack here for our batteries. So this is a uh, smart battery charger. It can charge AA and AAA batteries. But then you can also see here that it says it is a smart charger. So that means it knows when the battery is fully charged, it will actually stop charging it, as well as it uses trickle charging. And that might be one of the reasons why they're still using an antiquated micro USB is because they don't need as much power when you're trickle charging. One downside to this is it doesn't charge super fast, but that does extend the life of your batteries. The charge time on these from dead is about 10 hours. Whereas other ones can be as little as four to four and a half hours. This guy does take 10 hours on its smart trickle charge that won't overcharge these and extends the life of your batteries. These batteries are advertised to run for 1200 cycles. And I got more. <laughs> I got an extra pack here as well of the batteries. So I now have 16 rechargeable AA batteries that I can throw in anything. These guys will be pretty useful, I think. Let's go ahead and take a look at these batteries here. All right. Each one of these batteries are advertised as having 1.2 volts, providing six hours of battery life and 2800 milliamp hours of power. So the reason I actually ended up getting these rechargeable batteries is because in a recent video, I did a uh, unboxing for Eufy and they have a smart lock, but it runs on AA batteries. Um, granted, my most recent one with that on the smart lock, it has its own battery pack, but the one just before that, I'll link it up here somewhere or down in the description. But in that one, it does require eight AA batteries um, but those eight AA batteries should last about a year. So if I get rechargeable batteries like this, I can now always have charged batteries and then I can take the other eight because I purposely bought 16 and just kind of cycle through those on other items like uh, in my bedroom closet, I have a bunch of these little uh, AA battery powered lights. You just, it's a button, you push it on, you push it off and it even comes with a little remote, you can turn it on and off. Pretty handy, especially in my 100 year old home that didn't have lights in the closet. So I put these in. I got a whole bunch of these guys and I put them all over the closet to highlight each of the rows in the closet, whatnot. That's one option where this guy runs on some AA batteries. You could also use it to uh, power your Xbox. Yeah, uh, Xbox controllers run on AA batteries standard from the store. We all probably know that one, but uh, myself, I, I actually ponied up and bought the rechargeable battery and so you just have this brick, you can plug it in, can continuously play with that or for a cheaper option, you can get some just rechargeable batteries, have this guy plugged into the wall nearby and you're good to go. One thing to keep in mind, it does come with a charging cable but it does not come with a power adapter so you'll either have to plug this in, get your own power adapter or if you're uh, in a uh, newer home than mine, uh, your outlets may already have USB ports in them, but they do not provide a power adapter, but we're seeing that more and more often from things like Apple and everyone else that doesn't want to provide a power adapter anymore. Neither of these guys. So get your own little charging whatever to power this guy, but my big old power brick, this should be able to charge those batteries. So I turn that on, we can see an animation. Everything says it's charged, so let's go ahead and throw some batteries in here. Look at that. All right, and because it is a smart charger, these red lights will turn green when they're fully charged. Again, that will take about 10 hours to get charged, but uh, we can go ahead and put most of these to use 
right away, even if they're not fully charged. And that is the Power Owl. I think I've been saying this wrong the whole time. I, I think I was saying Power Wall. Power Owl, eight bay smart battery charger. This will charge AA and AAA batteries. They do need to be rechargeable batteries, but it will do that. Do not put regular AA and AAA batteries in here. That will not end well. Only use rechargeable batteries. Another thing to keep in mind is uh, once the batteries are charged, it's tempting to leave them in your charger. Don't do that. Uh, they, it is not meant to store them. It'll actually drain the batteries, uh, just leaving them in the charger all connected like this. If I just unplug it and left it like that, um, that will drain the batteries faster. While they do advertise having a three year standby time and losing only 70% of the battery over three years. Ah. I said that backwards. They will maintain 70% of life, lose 30% charge. Do not store it in there. Just let them store loosely or in some other way, but not in the uh, charging station. Uh, when I first picked them up, I thought that they might be like a little bit lighter than most, but uh, after weighing them, they definitely are not. These are actually a little bit heavier than standard alkaline batteries, like whether it's Duracell or the Rayovac, the discount value ones. Uh, these are just slightly heavier, even though these are only a uh, 1.2 volt instead of, I think, normal batteries are 1.3. The last thing I do want to try and show you here is, oh, it really stands out on the camera that these lights kind of flicker on their own when plugged into the charger. The light is always on, it's just it's kind of a pulsing light. So that's something I did notice. Um, but uh, yeah, that is, it's not just a, a something that you can see on camera. I can actually see that. I can't see it as well when it's plugged into this, but when I plug it into this other outlet over here, uh, this charging brick here, I think this is just a five watt charging brick. Um, it's definitely, you can see kind of a tick, 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 tick. Anyway, I don't know if that's uh, something that'll bother you or not, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I don't imagine that's a big problem. It's just it charging. I purchased this smart charger and the batteries all myself, so any opinions expressed are my own. Uh, if you want to get these for yourself, please use the links down in the description below. Using those links do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. If you have recommendations for future videos, leave those in the comments below. Or questions in general, I do reply to almost all of my comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.